Good morning, my name is Karen Bureau and I'm a board member of the International Council of Nurses. Hi, I'm Erica Burden. I'm Senior Health and Nursing Policy Analyst with International Council of Nurses. So hi, my name is uh, Julian Vade and I'm uh, leading this year's students' delegation for the first time on behalf of the International Council of Nurses. We're here in Geneva for one week to participate at the World Health Assembly, the 71st World Health Assembly. Our delegation this year for ICN is one of the largest in our history. This is my third year leading our delegation and as Karen said, it is one of the biggest with over 55 delegates. This year we have interventions on over nine agenda items and we have over 17 agenda items that are of importance to both nursing and to ICN. The WHA is an interesting process. There are over 194 countries represented and sometimes up to 200 non-state actors or non-governmental organizations. And so this year our, our statements were cut down to one minute, which is both challenging but effective because we're able to deliver quite a strong message in one minute. Uh, UHC will not be achieved without the active involvement of the largest group of professionals, that being nurses. And ICN urges WHO to increase focus on occupational health in order to protect our health workforce. Thank you. Nurses are increasingly taking on the management of NCDs and providing high quality, accessible and, quali uh, and cost effective services. Nurses play an even greater role in using every contact and every opportunity for health promotion, disease prevention and early detection. Recognizing, investing in, and mobilizing the nursing workforce will lead to real and lasting we changes. We call for increased investment in the health workforce as the impact of climate change coupled with an aging population will further increase the demand for well-educated healthcare professionals. Nurses are critical to preventing, detecting, assessing, and responding to public health events and are at the front line of care. So every year at the executive board meeting um, in January, the agenda is set for the WHA and typically that has to do with um, any resolutions that they wish to be passed or reports that they wish the WHA to note. And so in about January or February, we scan the WHA agenda to see um, which agenda items align with ICN priorities or with nursing priorities or um, strategic policy areas. And of course, because nursing is involved in and plays an important role in many areas that will come up on the WHA agenda, we try to pick those that are most relevant um, in the current context of global health or in the current context of ICN's work. I think that the nursing voice um, is getting louder and stronger and um, this is a really uh, strategic way to engage with other organizations, but also to engage with perhaps areas in the WHO that aren't familiar necessarily with the role of nursing um, or ICN.